Hey y'all! Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you all how I created this really cute curly bob using the HH Galaxy wig in TT27 by It's a Wig. And of course if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell button so you're notified when I put out new content each and every week. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the unit right here and again it's called the HH Galaxy uh, TT27 unit by It's a Wig and this is 100% human hair so that's what the HH I believe stands for, human hair. So you are able to dye this bob and it comes in several other colors as well. Um, I did have the plans to dye it but unfortunately I wasn't able to get the dye in time so we're just going to stick with this really beautiful um, blonde or uh, strawberry blonde TT27 color. Um, so this is the inside of the cap and as you can see it only has the adjustable straps and no combs So you can install that if you want But I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that be for right now and we're gonna get on with the tutorial So yeah, this is the wig on my mannequin I'm gonna be using just a small curling wand to do some um, curling wand curls if that's what you call it sure so um, basically this the same technique that I always use I essentially I just take my curling wand and I make sure to curl in the direction facing towards me now if this is on a mannequin make sure you curl towards yourself but if this is on your head make sure you curl outward so you're always kind of cur curling outward in the direction um, say if it's on the right side you're curling outward to the right and if you're on the left side of the wig you're curling outward to the left if that makes sense so I have a separate tutorial on um, this as well the kind of like curling and wave effect we didn't really wave this out in this tutorial but if you want to see um, just kind of like how I create waves in like longer hair definitely check that out I'll link that down below but for the most part, these are just some fun, cute curls that you can wear to a party, outing, any kind of event. And it just gives me this sort of like Betty Boopish or um, kind of like Cindy Lou Who, I feel like. But it's perfect for the holidays. I'm definitely going to be wearing this on Christmas uh, because I just think it makes me look super, super cute. And it will definitely go with the outfit that I have planned. So, yeah. And also I'll leave a link down below, I forgot to mention in the beginning, but I'll leave a link down below to where you can find this exact unit and pricing everything. So check that out in the description box below. But yeah, super simple, just uh, keep on curling the ends and then we're going to kind of just leave the bangs alone till the end. As you'll see later, I'm going to be kind of cutting those a little bit shorter. So next what I'm just going to do is I'm going to just take my paddle brush and kind of brush the curls outwards so as to kind of disperse them so they're not too too kind of little girl looking. I feel the curlier it is and especially with the shorter hairstyle you don't want to look kind of too young. So we're going to make these a little bit bigger, um, fluff them out and make them very bouncy looking. Next I'm going to take some hairspray and I'm just going to set those curls in. So definitely be generous with your hairspray if you want, but not too, too generous. So it's not like crunchy, but you just want to make sure that those curls last you the whole day. And I actually really like the color. I didn't like it on me at first, but like seeing this off camera now, it's like, okay, yeah, I really do like this color. But let me know in the comment section down below what color you want me to dye this hair. I did have plans to dye it kind of like a blue and green ombre effect. But I, like I said, my, yeah, I couldn't get the dye in time. So um, I am still kind of debating it. So let me know y'all in the comment section down below what kind of um, color you want me to dye this. And I'll definitely do that. Let me know. So now next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my bangs and y'all know I love me some blunt bangs. So of course um, similar to my sugar song tutorial that I did where I showed you how to cut blunt bangs and bump the ends. I'm doing the same exact effect. And part of me wishes I kind of left the bangs as is, but I do feel like this makes it a little bit more mature, I feel like, because the other one kind of gave me more of this like, you know, Goldilocks look since the hair is very like golden. But yeah, this is the final results and I'm loving this so much. Like I said, I am definitely going to be dyeing this later on because um, it's a little too golden for me, but I do really like the effect now that I'm seeing it. So it's super, super cute. And especially with those blunt bangs, it gives it a very artsy, creative feel. And yeah, thank you all as always. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love you all. Definitely don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. See you soon. Bye.